Well, obviously, he does not listen. I told her, uh, Pacific. Hello. Hold on. All right, let's let's start from the let's start from the start here. What's going on? I, I said I was going to give you a PM when I got back. Yeah. sons and he took care of two of the sons and the one son he neglected he didn't take care of like uh, he always had parties for the two boys and the one boy is like it's like how come I don't get parties or anything like that so are you there I'm just playing around with you uh, I just heard something on the talk radio as I was driving in it, it was about um, how the guy with well, the boy there he just he prayed to, to Jesus or God whatever and he said, you know, I want forgiveness here. And all of a sudden, the next day, his uh, father threw him a party. <laughs> Why did 9-11 happen? I don't know. People don't are, they want peace in the world, but people... No, but why did 9-11, why do you think, why do you think 9-11 happened? Why? Was what? Well, no, I wouldn't go that far. Um, I'm just—I I don't care who. I'm just saying why it did happen. I'm—I kind of know. Uh, it's why hatred, jealousy. That just crazy people. Not not liking freedom, not liking our way of life, maybe. Too much anger, not enough right. love, not enough real love to say and talk about love, but they don't really know what it means. Yeah, well, I, I agree there. I mean. Uh, like in the Bible. Well, yeah, well, because they alienate, they alienated themselves from God, and which God doesn't want them to alienate. He wants them to draw closer, draw near, understand. He's not putting any kind of burden. I mean, we're all in the same boat. You know, we all do things differently. Uh, I think all, all the people that are up in arms over religious people are because they can't follow things in the Bible even if they tried, and neither can I, neither can you. We, 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 we all fall short. But it doesn't mean that he doesn't love us, you know? I think it's the total opposite. I think it was all about love. That's just my opinion, you know? I know people are afraid. You know, I was afraid for years. I was like, you know, I'll figure, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Maybe when I'm in a nursing home, I'll, you know, I'll do a prayer. Maybe it'll come down on a shining light or something. No, but, you know, I like Corinthians in the Bible. It's about love, patience, love is kind. Yeah, love is kind. I mean, that's what we should do. I mean, and the main thing is forgiveness. You know, people don't want to forgive these, these yeah, days. Yeah, people are not in it for the long run. They're just in it for a little bit, what they can get. Uh, there's so many people. There's so many, uh, And then they all want self-praising. Like, they all want the worship, you know, just like, you know, Saint wanted. It's like, Give your worship to me. That's why this system 
we're giving our worship to the system. You know, we're worshiping the system where we shouldn't. We have freedom. We were born free. We were born with unique gifts inside us, you know. And they've just been bottled up through this system, you know. I mean, a, a child just does, totally gets distracted growing up, you know. I mean, he goes to school, he's around all, other, all these other people, and he just, they get into worldly things, you know. What do you got to have, you know? You got to have a nice girl, you got a nice car, you got a nice house, you got to be ahead. You know, everything's got to go be going good for you. It's hard to find true love, though. It's hard. Well, yeah, I have to admit that. You know, looking back at all the relationships I've ever had, um, it was always something. It was always something that um, we were missing, you know? And it, it was. Both of us needed to be uh, on the same page and, and, you know, practicing, you know, things that we should be practicing, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll be right back.